Welcome to Fishing North Atlantic, the sequel to Barrent Sea. In this video we are going through some beginner tips, basically how to get started in the game, because when I first started trying to play, it was a nightmare. I didn't know anything about the game, I've never played the first game before, so it was tough. I spent a few hours getting into it, and I kind of figured out like the best way to get started. When I say the best way, it's not fast. To do this took me about 2 hours 45 minutes or something like that to get to where I currently am. So it's a little bit like grindy on the longer side, but if you're into fishing, that's not really going to matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the tips. I hope they help you out. I hope you enjoy the video. Also, just very quickly, a huge thank you to the guys over at Misc Games for the key. Without further ado, let's get into it. I would highly recommend you jump into the game in the tutorial because if you go straight to Yarmouth then I don't know exactly what happens, I haven't tried it. But with the tutorial it will show you exactly how to navigate around your boat and everything and it will also teach you the basics of harpooning where you can actually catch some swordfish. You will use those to sell them and make a little bit of money. It can be tricky to actually catch the fish with the harpoon but you will see everything in the gameplay. Hopefully I can land this harpoon. Go on. Right, so this is going to be number six when we've reeled it in. You want to go for five or six with this. Just because the more you catch, the more money you will have to start things off. And you're going to need a hefty amount. The reason you're going to want a hefty amount is because going for these swordfish after this tutorial part with a harpoon is tough. I did a lot of traveling looking for them and I just, I couldn't find them. I mean, you could realistically, if you wanted to, actually spend a bit longer. But we've got to head to the port and this is where you're able to sell them. So whilst you're not on missions, you can just fast travel. Okay, very bad price. Swordfish usually sells for $25 per kilo. They're only offering me 1040. So what I'm gonna do, I have no money, but I'm not actually going to sell them here. I'm gonna take note of $10.4 per kilo. And what we're gonna do instead is we are going to take out a loan of 10 grand, 5% interest, that doesn't matter. And what we're gonna do is go to the dock, upgrades. We're gonna get the better engine. I would say always go with the better engine straight away. Just because it takes forever to get to the next area that we're going to go to. You're going to want to head into the bar. And you're going to have a mission there to deliver to another port. We're going to select that. And that gives us 12 grand. We're going to go to Digby, which is different to where I went last time. So the game doesn't always start exactly the same for everyone. Last time I went down to here, this is, I can't even remember what this one's called. I think it's Dennis Point. But now we've got to go all the way up here, so this is going to take forever. And I'm on a mission, so I can't fast travel during a mission. Meaning that the engine is so much more important because this is really far away. This one's really, 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 really far away. But that's going to take us a, a little while. And just a heads up, when you start this game, there will be a setting that you can turn on. I'll show you quickly from these settings. You can actually change it in the settings or when you're starting your game. But you want to enable port patrol. You want to make sure that's off. If that's on, you are only allowed to travel at a speed of six knots when you are leaving a port. And it takes forever to get out of the port when you are going that slow. Always make sure to remember to save your game. Double tap H so it brings up the map in the bottom right whilst we're on the mast. And away we go. I'm actually going to time it from now. See how long it takes us to get to Digby. And just a heads up for those of you that are new to the game. I've only just figured this out myself. If you are trying to interact with the stuff that's on the bottom left of the screen, or if you want to zoom out or in your map on the right, go to third person 
And then what you need to do is you can actually use your mouse whilst you're in third person. So you can check what you've got on your boat, the catch time. And then you can check all your gear. You can actually use your fish finder, like your sonar. You can change all your lights. You can check the temperatures and everything like that and zoom in and out. Then you can also click the plus and the minus to go in and out of the map. And then you can minimize this. And it stays exactly the same when you double press H to bring your HUD back up. If you go close and you see like points of interest, you can get them marked up on the map and then you can just fast travel there. Okay, I found a boat. Absolutely nothing has popped up like it did with that lighthouse. So, from Yarmouth, if you go up north, I mean, you can see it on the map here. This little bit here, apparently, I, I found a boat. It says you found Fix. You can now buy it. Okay, I've just discovered Digby. And I want to give you a heads up. Let me just quickly dock this. Okay, I am not exaggerating at all. It took me one hour, 17 minutes real life time to get up to here. So if the wind is not in your favor, if you haven't got the engine upgrade, you played a different way to what I've showed you, then only take on those missions if you have the time, if you can be bothered to go that far, if not just fish. Just try and find the port, fast travel around without accepting a mission because you can't fast travel during a mission and just look for somewhere. But hopefully this is worth more. Much better. Look at that. Instead of $10.40 per kilo and a total of 13000 I spent that time. I come up to here and it's $22 per kilo, which is a decent sort of price. It usually sells for about $25 a kilo. But instead of the 13000 they offered, I'm getting 27000 Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire the cheapest guy possible. And then what I'm going to do is go to, is it the upgrades? No, it's the rigging. 15 the grand. See, this stuff is so expensive at the start. I'm rigged for deep line fishing. Then what I'm going to do is fishing gear. 1,500, I'm going to buy two. Do I have to type that in? Okay, you have to buy them separately. Bought two of those. Now I'm going to have to bait them up. I'm going to put one with herring. I'm going to have one with squid. Okay, so fast travel is going to speed it up a lot. Okay, so now that we've done that first mission, I've come and discovered Dennis Point. So I've got Yarmouth, Dennis Point, and I've also got Digby Explored. Okay, so once you've hired crew, what you want to do is you want to look at this little phone thing here. Manage your crew and you want to drag your guy over from resting. You want to set them up with a little job that they can do. Okay, so I believe we have a bite on both deep lines after about 18 hours of them being out. I just sat at port and just kept skipping time by an hour or two. Okay, that's a bloody big swordfish. And tuna. I keep getting good. Five hundred and sixty-seven kilos. Oh, I got a perfect. I don't know what that does. Maybe it increases the kilos or something. Oh, and I got back-to-back -back perfects. That was all bluefin tuna. 918 kg. For some reason, that's not working. Right, you, my friend, deserve... Bang on the money. Boom. Tuna. 28 grand. 
20,000 for bluefin tuna. I'll take that money. I've got my crew member. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Where is it? Bank. I'm going to repay my loan. There we go. Debt free. So I've got eight deep lines now. They're split up nicely. So what I'm going to do is come out of here. Oh wait, what were the prices? Did they change? Yeah, it's gone down a little bit for the swordfish. Right, the next lot, I'm going to sell it up at Yarmouth. The so one, two, three, and four are the herring, they're for the tuna. Okay, we've got eight deep lines out now. So what I'm going to do is... I'm hoping that's still a little hot spot for them. Had a bite on number three. Number five and number six. Seven, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to carry all these. Number four's just gone off as well. I should have paid for storage. What have I done? They always get bites about 17 hours after they're put out. 17, 18 hours-ish. Okay, every single fish was a perfect. We've got some swordfish in there as well. That was 700 kilos. I'm at half my capacity. Four hundred and thirty two KG of fish was lost. Seventy five thousand. Look at the price on the tuna. It's normally twenty dollars per KG. It's thirty one point six. I've got eighty nine grand. Higher rep improves the prices of fish sold and increases the difficulty and reward of jobs. Increase your rep at each port by completing jobs, selling fish, and spending money. See, I'm not actually going to be allowed to fish with this one for too long. It's only capable of getting swordfish and tuna. That's why I can't go for any of the other fish. So I have to save up the money to buy another boat. Okay, literally six hours later and the fish are still on. There's a perfect... But I can't keep fishing in these same spots. Or I'll kill the habitats and they won't breed here. Another 31 grand. Okay, so we've sold the fish. We've got a crew member. We've got as many deep lines as we can have. Half herring, half squid. We've got 104 grand in the bank. We've got the storage upgrades. We've got... What else? We've got the max engine. So now, really, all we've got to do is go round, look at the different ports and see if there's a nice boat I want to get and save up for it, I suppose. But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.